you should not settle with just one money corner. You need to know which of these feng shui cycles your house belongs to, and you need to actually have a proper compass reading on the facing side of your house. And from the period and the compass reading of your house, then you get the flying star chart like this. In the prosperity blueprint, I calculate all the period nine, period eight, and period seven prosperity charts. This is an example of a period nine uh, flying star chart for a specific compass reading. They have their money corners in the Northwest, the West, the center and the Northeast. Again, why settle for just one money corner, right? And not only are these are the wealth generating um, areas of the house, these are the wealth loss directions for that house. So in my prosperity blueprint, I have calculated all these charts and all you need to do is just figure out, and I'm gonna help you do that, all you need to do is just figure out the period, the facing, and I will calculate the money corners for you. And not only that, you will also learn which of these are the best uh, money corners for you to activate for uh, the year because not all four of them are activatable because the energy of the year constantly shifts. So in my prosperity blueprint, I show you which of the four are the safest for you to activate for the year, which elements to use, which colors to use. So if you want more information, go to fengshuimoneycorners.com.